Welcome to your astrology and spirituality show for Monday the 23rd of November. Today we are using the Archangel Oracle cards to see what spiritual message kickstarts our week. So the card that comes up here is Archangel Raziel and it says clairvoyance. I am helping your spiritual insight to fully awaken so that you can clearly see heavenly love. Clairvoyance is a sense where we can almost have a premonition of, of sight. Now this, some people have it in a very prophetic way, um, almost like having visions. But for others of us, it's sort of things that we see within our mind's eye of how our future might pan out. And Archangel Raziel is the angel of expansion. He's linked to the planet Jupiter. So it is very much about look, growth, and uh, moving forward. So using all of those skills today. That's beautiful because in the sign of Pisces, which Jupiter rules, we have uh, Neptune being joined by the moon. The moving moon connects with Neptune. Now, of course, this has been happening once a month uh, since the start of the year. But if you recall from a previous show, at the turn of the year, the moon was conjunct Neptune. Neptune is about dreams. It is about that mysticism. It is about spirituality. It can be about that psychic phenomena that Elisa's alluding to, but it can also be about draining. And we've had issues with uh, lots of flooding this year. We've had issues with the virus, which is invisible. We can't physically see it, but it's drained the body uh, of the world, if you like, which is very much the moon. Our emotions have been uh, affected profoundly. But the great news today is that Mercury in the deep and profound sign of Scorpio is actually linking in a trine with these two today. And I feel that more and more information is going to be uh, correlated in a much more purposeful way. So we can have information, but we need to make that data work for us. And I think there's going to be a much more scrutinizing vibe coming in. And with the Sagittarius energy that we now have, that's very much about research and it is about the big picture. And so some healing uh, news can come through. Now, obviously some of you may be dead against vaccines, others more open to it, but it's not just about vaccines. It's understanding how other drugs could be repurposed or uh, we're finding more and more about vitamin D3 uh, it's very good to have in your system in a, a suitable amount. And if you live in a dark country like Britain is generally inclined to be and haven't had a, a, a summer holiday because of the pandemic, if you take vitamin D3, you're physically getting the sunshine you didn't get perhaps on that holiday, although we were blessed with a beautiful spring here in uh, Britain. But I think this angle of mercury is creating... Uh, a, a relationship between understanding what's going on at a deeper level but in a healing way and it's amazing isn't it the patterns of life the patterns of astrology as above so below but our understanding as that pattern once a month moon's gone over neptune i think has caused a lot of confusion a lot of muddled thinking by governments we've had three watery mercury retrogrades and I know with Gemini coming into the picture on the back of the Cancer one and also Libra on the back of the Scorpio one, we did have a little bit of airy retrograde with Mercury. Next year, they're all going to be air sign retrogrades in Mercury. And that's going to create more clarity. So the water this year has created a lot of muddle puddle, if you like, uh, especially uh, amongst some governments, a lack of clarity, a lack of authority, a lack of confidence to really be leaders, being too passive at times or too directed and overbearing at others. And I just feel that what Elise is saying is that we can all collectively perceive where things are going to be going in a much higher way. There is a spiritual desire, a thirst, if you like, amongst so many people to break away from the lying, the cheating, the deceit of big business, big government that's dominated over so many years. We want that new dawn, which is more decent, that's more based on community, more based on localism, more based on looking after the planet, not so much based on money-making and status. And I think that all these energies are threading together in such a marvelous way, preparing us, of course, 
for when Jupiter and Saturn come together in an exact conjunction on the winter solstice on the 21st of December for the first time since 1405. It's that rare and that triggered the cultural revolution. So imagine what is possible in the years ahead. It's got to be better than the lion and the cheating, which has dominated so much, is so demotivating, so demoralizing. For so many folks have lost hope and belief in what's possible. We need to re-energize the body of community. Oh, I love that. Thank you so much. And thank you for joining us uh, here today. If you'd like to read more into your uh, situation by reading your uh, daily horoscope, you can find that in the description box beneath this video. Thanks so much, darling. And of course, please check out Elisa Three Card Tarot beneath as well. Absolutely fabulous. I use it quite a bit, actually, <laughs> to just... ask a little cheeky question. He oh, uses it right. a lot. Okay. <laughs> they walk in the office and they're like, you're doing tarot again. <laughs> I have a problem, all right. Is this tarot anonymous? <laughs> yeah. Tarot anonymous. My name's Sibelius. <laughs> um, can you help me, please? I keep getting the sun card, but I can't convince myself that <laughs> it's you... going to sunshine. It's because I've been in Britain so long. <laughs> help me. <laughs> Well, if you would like to use it as much as Patrick does, um, feel free to, to do so. It's a really cool um, app, really, to, to get into. Absolutely. So for now, from Absolutely. Sibelius and Mrs. Sibelius. <laughs> it's goodbye from him. And it's goodbye from her. <laughs> goodbye. goodbye. <laughs>